Hello everyone, welcome to Equifix Classroom. Today, let's talk about MQTT protocol, a lightweight protocol through which we can communicate with the IoT devices. Right now, I am going to control one LED that's connected with a node NCU board through MQTT protocol. So this is the simple circuit diagram. The cathode of LED connected with the T2 pin of node MCU and the negative point or anode of LED connected with the crown pin of node MCU. So this is the simple circuit diagram I am going to implement for this project. That is so in my system one LED is connected with the node MCU board. Now let's find out the prerequisite softwares uh, for this project. Now let's talk about the prerequisite softwares uh, we need for this project. Number one, MQTT broker. Number two, Node RAID. For Node RAID, we need Node.js. So these are the softwares we have to install. Fine. First, let's uh, select a uh, MQTT broker. Right now, I am using Mosquito MQTT broker. It's open source. Fine. And after that. You have to download the node.js and I am using 14.17.6 ATS. After that, you can download the node read. Now, let's start the MQTT server. For MQTT server, you have two choices. One, you can use any public MQTT server. Otherwise, you can install any MQTT server in your system and you can run the service locally. Right now, I have the MQTT server in my system. That's why I am going to use the server in my local system. So let's run the command mosquito space minus V. Now the server is running. During this uh, server setup, you may face one error related to the port 1883. Okay. So if you have any problem related to the port 1883, you can go through my video that is available in the description box. Now let's explore the Arduino IDE for the code that I am going to uh, upload in Node MCU board. Now let's explore the code in Arduino IDE. First of all, uh, a new header file you have to use that is pubsub client.h. For that, you have to install the library related to pubsub client. Next, Wi-Fi SSID and password. And after that, we have to use the IP address of the MQTT server. And right now, my server is running in my system. That's why uh, I am using the IP of my system. If you want to use the public MQTT server, you have to put the URL of your public MQTT server in this line. Fine. Next, uh, just uh, name your MQTT client and that's it. Fine. I am going to uh, control the LED through MQTT protocol and the LED is connected with the T2 pin of node MCO that is GPIO 4. Next, uh, the Wi-Fi setup and after that, uh, you have to just configure the topic part of MQTT. The topic is very much important. Okay. Through which uh, the MQTT protocol actually uh, identify the uh, process you can see okay and through which the communication will take place so that's the point related to the topic now what's the topic uh, in my system right now that's room slash light so uh, you need this topic later uh, when we will configure the node rate flow okay so we need the topic at that time so you have to note down the topic okay actually through the topic the message will uh, deliver to the proper event okay now here uh, a sample code actually uh, if the content uh, equals to on then the led will be on and if it's off then automatically led will be off so that's the simple code fine now uh, for the mqtt communication we need uh, two parameters actually uh, two topics are there in MQTT uh, protocol. One is uh, publish, another one subscribe. So 
so if the device is going to uh, send some data uh, to the server then it's published automatically if the device actually getting some response from the server uh, it's going to be the subscribe so that's why uh, right now in my system i am using client.subscribe actually the node mcu device will get the input from the server for controlling the led so that's why the client will subscribe to the topic room slash light okay so that's why topic is important okay fine so this is the sample code uh we need for the project and it's already running in my node mcu system fine and the code will be available uh, in the description box fine next i am going to configure the node rate flow editor next the command for running node rate server it's simple node rate node hyphen rate now the server is running in my system and next i am going to configure the user interface of node rate for that i have to use the url that is available right now in my screen 127.0.0.1 then 18804 just copy the url and paste in you so it's done now this is the node rate workspace so let's start a flow for your project first of all i have to use the node rate dashboard for the project user interface for that go to the right hand menu option next manage palette and you have to install the node rate dashboard for that go to install and search for node rate dashboard after the installation just you have to select nodes for your user interface now in this project i am going to control the led using a switch for that let's pick a switch from the dashboard okay now the switch is available under the dashboard let's pick the switch after that i am using mqtt protocol for the communication so let's go to the network option and pick the mqtt protocol now two options are available under mqtt mqtt in and mqtt out now if your device getting some inputs from the server then it will be mqtt out so whenever uh, responses or data coming from mqtt server then you have to use the mqtt out so in this project actually the led will be on if the message from server is on okay if it's off it will be off that's why i am using mqtt out if the node mcu is going to send some data to the server then you have to use the mqtt in so right now let's connect these two nodes via a wire so let's find out the wire and it's link in so let's connect this with the mqtt out node after connecting both the nodes let's configure both of them one by one first the switch right now uh let's configure the payload so here the data type will be string because in our arduino ide code actually we are using string right and here the message info is odd and for switching off the led we are using off fine so these two things we have to mention in switch so right now on payload uh, we are using string data type and the content is on next the off payload is obviously of string type and the content is off as per the arduino code next the topic topic is also string type and here it's room slash light so whatever topic you have mentioned in your arduino code you have to use that in the string mode okay so fine it's complete now you can uh, put any name for the switch so let's put a uh, name for the switch 
now it's light okay fine so it's done next go to the MQTT out now here you have to mention the IP of the server okay so in my system it's running on localhost that's why localhost and the port is 1883 so let's configure the server of MQTT broker now for that let's edit the server and here you can modify the IP of the MQTT server if you are using any public MQTT server you have to mention the URL of public MQTT server here like uh, say any IP address you can use or any URL okay that's fine next the port 1883 for MQTT and now let's configure the MQTT out node for that double click on MQTT out now here we have to mention the IP of the server where your MQTT broker is running so let's modify the server address and in my system it's running on localhost and the port is 1883 so let's modify this one and if you want to use any username password uh, for MQTT communication you can mention that one here in username and password fine so let's update in topic uh, we can mention room slash light okay and it's done so uh, the connectivity between two nodes the switch and MQTT out done so it's successfully deployed next just uh, open a new tab and after successful deploy you can use the node read user interface for your project and for that you have to use this URL 127.0.0.11880 port number and after that slash UI hit enter and yes so this is the user interface one switch for controlling the LED now let's test the entire project right now I have four windows in my screen one having node read user interface another mosquito server running the third window I have Arduino serial monitor and in fourth uh, the physical board connected with LED so now let's switch on the LED and find out if it's working or not okay now the light is on and in Arduino serial monitor uh, the mask is on and it's connected okay same you can uh, go through the mosquito server response and it's perfectly running okay so let's switch off the LED now it's off so again check there is a uh, display in Arduino serial monitor that's changing room light to off okay so again uh, you can visualize that data in uh, mosquito server also so let's again switch it on it's the led is right now on and again you can turn it off by just using the switch okay so it's running perfectly and if you have any comment any suggestion anything uh, please use the comment box